six strong innings. Let's hear from him about his outing via interpreter Marlon Abreu. Yeah, it feels great, you know, to have uh, uh, that kind of support uh, behind you. And, you know, uh, when that happens in the game, uh, you want to you want to stay aggressive. You don't want to you you don't want to lower the intensity uh, pitching wise, and uh, you still want to go out there and execute pitches. You know. We had Matt Blake on our broadcast, and he spoke about you being aggressive and not nibbling, and that being part of your success. Just how big is that for you to attack hitters and not try to be too fine when you're out there? Eh, el pitching coach Mike Blake eh, habló con nosotros y nos mencionó que una de las claves para ti eh, ha sido el ser agresivo y el salir a atacar los bateadores y no rondear en la eh, andar por la zona de strike. Eh, ¿Qué tanto eso has, eh, te ha ayudado en tus eh, últimas salidas? Me ha ayudado bastante, ¿sabes? Cuando uno, cuando uno cae mucho por debajo de los bateadores, eh, es difícil volver, es difícil volver a a que usted trae, son, son bateadores que tienen muchas habilidades de reconocer cualquier piche, cuando, un, cuando una red. Eh, lo importante es tirar de, tirarle trae, saber cómo, cómo cambiar la secuencia y man, mantenerse arriba de los bateadores. Yeah, it definitely has been very helpful to be aggressive uh, when facing hitters and, and like I said before, getting in, in good counts as a pitcher. You know, uh, this level of baseball, when you fall under under the count and you're trying to execute strikes, you know, you have hitters that are really very talented, especially in a fastball count. Those guys don't miss pitches like that, you know. So uh, definitely very important for me to stay aggressive and get ahead.